Welcome to Seekers to the Tarot Temple here at Spirit Buyers. This happy new year 2022 working money report is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Cus. Please be mindful that this platform is designed to inform and to teach, so you may want to bring your learning tools. Also, be mindful to support this platform by giving your likes, by sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Remember to press that little bell. Now let's prepare for your messages from source for this year's uh, work and money. I know that it will be beneficial, so please stay away. All right, so welcome back, Dodgers and Chargers, to Spirit Vibes here at the Tarot Temple. Um, this is a Happy New Year work and money report for uh, 2022 so um, you want to kind of look at it as the beginning stages of what's to come these um, this report is kind of like the, the stepping stones to your outcome and when that outcome will be I have no idea you know it could be January it could be spring it could be summer it could be this time next year I have no idea but um, you will know, and I always suggest that you come and re-review these videos from time to time when they are connecting, okay? When they are connecting. And remember to, um, if you haven't already, to get a natal birth chart so that you will know the many parts of yourself, okay? And then that way you can follow along. If one message doesn't apply, you can move on to another and then it may bring you back again to something that you've already reviewed. Because one thing you have to do is learn your own cycles. I had to do it. You'll have to do it. You just have to kind of know where you fall in line with things, okay? Because we're not all at the same place at the same time. I have even went back and reviewed things two years ago that applied. Okay? So it's just... It's just the make. It's just the fabric of our life. Externally, you're dealing with the diamonds or the pentacles of Jupiter, all right? And internally, you're dealing with oh, so this is Pluto, and this is the limit. Okay, um, I realized that this deck did not include Pluto, so I had to come up with a creative idea uh, to implement that energy into this divine work and um we'll get to this in just a second but externally there are benefits here because uncle jupes bring financial benefits you know i always tell y'all i equate jupiter i love jupiter i see him as the brother of saturn you know how that good uncle comes along that everybody look at is rich and he's always you know um Passing out coins and money and spending time with little nieces and nephews and helping them and buying them things, you know, it, 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 it's very special. Now, this could be you benefiting others or you being benefited by someone else. Um, I'm also seeing that you're able to create things that will be beneficial to others. Or this could be some ideas that you have that will be beneficial to others. And fortunate, okay? And good fortune. This is good fortune to me. Like, you know, maybe this is extra pay. You know, or maybe these are benefits. Like you um, sign up for your benefits at your job. But you'll be happy that you did, Okay? Now, internally, you're dealing with the planet Pluto, and we're dealing with the lemons, okay? So, internally, you may be feeling like things are, because this Pluto is a transformative planet, okay? I don't really care for Pluto. I'm trying to learn to like her, but, um, because she's in my chart, but, um, you may have to think how to turn something sour sweet, whatever that is, okay? And maybe that's why you're thinking about some external things that could make others happy or even yourself. Uh, because 
it, it, it comes to transform you, okay? You know, you have to turn lemons into lemonade. Where it's stemming from, I don't know. It could, like I said, it could be coming from your um, place of work, your family, your friends. Something, though, is getting your attention, but it, it doesn't taste too good. Or maybe this is you. Maybe this is you. You're looking at yourself internally and you're thinking about maybe some of the actions that you've done that has made things, turn things sour, okay? I just, I just throw it out there and she gives it to me. So let's go ahead and get you some moon cards to kind of, um, that will explain your mood this season for the 2022 20, year, okay? And uh, like I told the other signs, you know, 2022 um, lines up with the moon, okay? The moon rules number 20, well, two, okay? So you got a lot of twos um, in this year, okay? Now, that's not all bad because it equates also to the number six, which deals with Venus, okay? So um, you may have to look at how to turn something around. Well, because this is an internal look at yourself, okay? We're dealing with Pluto and how, maybe how you can transform something that went sour and make it sweet again, okay? Externally, you're dealing with the moon in Gemini, and uh, I'm familiar with this card. It's dealing with stress being an issue during this time, okay? And internally, you have the moon in Pisces. Beware of indulging in negative or depressive tendencies. There you go with the lemon. Okay. Negative and depressive tendencies. Okay. So maybe you're looking at the glass half full. Maybe you don't want to see your dark shadow. You know, you, these are things you have to deal with. You're dealing with things that don't taste so good, it don't feel so good, and you're internalizing this, okay, maybe you're having to face the mirror, and maybe even deal with some forgiveness here, okay, you may have to be dealing with that, okay, so let's go ahead and get you your one word reference for the 2022 report, all right, and um, you should be able to take this with you, that's why I say this platform is an informative and an educative platform and all these little things I've thrown at you, they they mean something and they will come full circle at some point, okay? So don't take it for granted and don't take it lightly, all right? You have special and then you have the sub uh, word, the, the, the um, subscript enough, special enough, you know, and maybe there's something you have to internalize. Uh, maybe something is coming at you. Maybe this is a realization about yourself or someone else because you do have Jupiter here, that which makes things special. If you hear something going on in the background, you probably hear that um, kettle pot frying my meals. <laughs> so hopefully you don't, but if you do, at least you know what it is. Okay, so we are dealing with the deviant moon tarot. Um, that's what you got. Um, that's what the source picked for you. Now, uh, if you don't remember, Deviant Moon deals with taboos. All right. So things that don't quite agree with your culture is a taboo. Whatever that is. Okay. Whatever that is. <laughs> Whatever source. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with um, your seven card overview. And um, for all of those who are worthy, I hope you have a very happy new year and that you get, you know, what you want, or for others what you deserve. Okay, because we do have that lemon here. Overall energy is the Ace of Cups. Okay. That is based on the emperor. You can expect, oh, you have the um, preface or the illustration card um, stemming from the page of pentacles. And 
and your outcome is the nine of wands. Oh, conflict and or challenges, supportive energies, or your blessing. We'll discuss it in a minute. She just showed me that. So you have the ten of pencils. That's your underlying energy. Or this could be the ten of wands. And um, I, I feel like you're being stuck or you're being stuck, like poke. Or a lot of energy. Poke. Either you doing this or someone's doing it to you. You being poked and and and, and you try and it's a protective energy here, okay? But a lot is you see that kind of danger there? You know? Wow. Poked and stabbed and cut and all kind of things. Wow. Underlying energy. A lot going on here. You feel like it's coming at you or you coming at someone else. Okay. A lot of pokes and stabs and picks and I don't know. Like picking. Picking at you. Are you picking at them? Okay. Let's get going. Underlining energy is the emperor. Mr. Snooty is here. Okay. Everything is based on this leader, this boss, the the, the head person in charge. Okay. This could this is emperor energy. This is Aries. Okay. Um, I feel like you've been waiting. Or someone's been waiting a long time. They're kind of getting impatient. You know, like they... Because this is the ruler. I shouldn't have to wait. Okay? I shouldn't have to be waiting. You know, when, when, I, when I ask or say something, it should be done. That's the attitude. Okay? And um, we know them Aries can get that attitude. You know, an attitude problem. Coming through this Pluto, negative and depressive energies. You got your hand on your hip. You've been waiting, okay. And um, this is boss, okay. I said that. I heard that. I didn't want to say it, but for some of you, you may be dealing with a Taurus, okay. And I see Taurus in this, and I feel like there it is. You want to poke and, and take take stabs or something at this at a Taurus. Okay. Mm, why is that? Because this is a very snobby, stuck up attitude right here. Okay. Um, the emperor feels like it's deserving, uh, even if it's not. Remember, we in deviant. Deviant moon. This is tabooish. Okay. This is things that are considered going against the norm. And um, this could even be Leo as well. Okay. Leo and energy. You may have that in your chart. I'm also hearing dress to kill. Okay. Dress to kill. I don't know where that's coming from. But I'm feeling like you want to take a stab or a jab at a bull. And a baby bull at that. And I'm hearing a child. Um, but this, look at this, 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 it's a gentle creature. Look at it. It's a gentle creature. All right. I don't know where that's coming from, but it's stemming from this page of pentacle. Okay. The page of pentacle is like something you found and you're trying to come up with an idea of how to use it, you know, uh, a thought. And then again, you see here, it's like how you want to fix something, okay? Uh, uh, it, it, this could be like a little, this could even be money. You know, it's not a lot of money, but it's something, you know, you want to work it out or work on it or
Hmm. Now I'm looking at this red shoe here, and I, and I heard Kansas. You remember Dorothy in Kansas when she was clacking those shoes? But there's a mismatch here as well. So it may have to do with work. Because something doesn't match here. Something is off. It, it almost looked like the same shoe, but it's not. And it's definitely two different colors here. Two, two shades, two different shades, okay? I don't really get that right now, but uh, we can ready to find out the reason, okay? Like this um, idea that you want to work on, but it's like you want to take out somebody. And you know what I don't like about this energy, though? This seems like a bully to want to do this to somebody smaller than you or younger than you, okay? This is... This is really stuck up, I don't give a fuck kind of energy. I, I'm not understanding that. Let's, let's get a reading. Something from something that, something that you or they want to fix. Some idea to fix something, to fix you, to fix it. I don't know. Stealing from a wish. Because that's what I see that red pump as a wish. Okay. And the reason is the king of wands, all right, based on the six of pentacles, which deals with reciprocity. The king of wands deal with ideas, you know, futuristic ideas that more than likely nobody else sees or um, going after personal endeavors, you know, and getting a return but not so much from other people this is like coming straight from heaven getting what you deserve when because for some people the only thing that will bless them is heaven they don't get their blessings from people their blessings come from above okay and so these um this is this i'm seeing also like good luck a unicorn because a unicorn symbolizes magical things happening okay and they're willing to go through the fire to get the rewards, okay? That only God can give, okay? And they're gathering their blessings, okay? It's like it's coming straight from heaven, straight from heaven. All right, sorry about that. So, yeah, um, this, is, this is an idea, something that you feel... You were trying to make something work. And, and I feel like whoever this is, and this could be an earth sign, I feel like they could clap their heels and make it go down. But what can you expect is publishing rights, some of you, to publish something, okay? Uh, uh, to study something, to study something that's been published, a book, to read a book, stemming. From something you want to try to make work. You want to try to fix it. You want to. Because I'm hearing an opportunity. You got some idea. You're trying to put it together. Because you're looking at some opportunity. But. I don't know. This payoff doesn't feel really big. But nonetheless, it's a payoff of some type. Because I'm also hearing reminiscing. You've been reminiscing on something. Some of you may be on the cusp of Taurus. Okay? You've been reminiscing on this idea. You've been reminiscing on how to fix this. On how to turn something around based on your dreams. Because definitely here you want the payoff. And you and you really want you really want heaven. You want God to bless it. You know, but you're going to read up on it, or you're trying to publish something. Now, this could be symbolic for publishing something maybe online 
uh, I'm hearing blog as well. Some of you, you may want to blog this idea based on this, based on this emperor, based on this dodger, this charger. Okay. Um, okay, because I'm hearing skeleton. Okay, so you see that right there? Deals with skeletons. Skeletons deal with secrets. Okay. And it can also deal with having a voice. All right. But the outcome here I see is loneliness, isolation, even feeling forgotten. Okay. Um, this is also like being stood up. Outcome stood up. Okay. So, you may be feeling left behind or maybe feeling sorry for some action here. And just really kind of want to take time to yourself to think it through. To be along with your thoughts. That's the outcome for this year. This is for 2022. At some point, this is the making or the outcome, the making and the outcome of this uh, situation. Okay? Because your overall energy is the Ace of Cups, and that's following your heart. Okay? Following your heart. For some, it deals with confession. Okay, we was talking about having a voice, publishing something, feeling inspired to do this. Okay. But for some of you, this is harm. You know, and the emperor has the power, you know, and the backing. You know, they got people to back them up. This, this is your energy, Aries. Okay. But in the outcome... You're gonna have to reassess that. You'll be that you'll be left alone by yourself or stood up or abandoned. Or maybe this is voluntary. Because I also see you because I'm seeing this a torch being burned, you know, like. I'm hearing shark. You know, like you got ate up by a shark, like you got swallowed by a shark. Some of you are burning a torch for somebody as well. Okay. Based on this emperor, this captain. This is weird. But you're going to feel inspired your mood um the moon is really going to have an effect on you moving on this thing whatever it is because for some of you this is also about you know because the bull also deals with you know the to house of Taurus also deals with building wealth and i see that you don't want anything small you know, you, you're expecting something grand and maybe it's not turning out as the way you want it to and you feel stood up or left out in some shape, form, or fashion. And the conflict with that is the eight of pentacles. And that's putting in hard work, putting in effort, trying to build this thing, you know, uh, over time. Blood, sweat, and tears, baby. Day and night, okay? That's a conflict. You know, you, you're putting the work in. You trying to make money. Trying to build a career. This is sometimes putting in the work to get to the next step. You know, you're doing all of this now. And in the end, you're having to assess it all. You know, try to figure out where you went wrong. But, you, but you're feeling inspired to do this, so... This is kind of a warning. I'm not saying this is where it ends. But I'm saying at some point in this year, that's 
this is going to be the outcome, you know. Mm. Now, for others of you, this is going to be about ending the beef. So this can also be about ending the beef because, see, it's been a lot going on, a lot of jabs and stabs and, you know, uh, a lot of work, you know, putting in a lot of work, using your hands, using your mind, using your senses, okay? And here it is again with this Eight of Pentacles, okay? So you've been, you've been, you know, feeling, I'm hearing high and dry, some of you, okay? Going through this process, you've got all these pencils, you're trying to get all of this stuff, but in the end, I don't know, it's like you're still burning at midnight oil, but something got you thinking. You feel like you need to be alone with your thoughts, and it may be for the publishing, I don't know, but I feel like for some of you, again, you feel left out, stood up, because you dress for the occasion, okay? You dress for the occasion, but what's going to support you or what's going to be your blessing, again, is the moon, okay? And this may be just getting out with somebody and just letting loose, okay? Um, doing something crazy, you know, like meeting up with the... With, with, with a stranger and just letting loose. This is just letting loose, okay? Because uh, maybe this has something to do with feeling stand stood up or something. So you go maybe and do something you never done before, like go to a restaurant or go to a, a club or something, and you just let loose. You let it. You just let it all go, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and get. Well, she's reaching for this for the spirit vibes written word. Um, and see what's going on with this. But before I do that, let's sum up your um, reading. It went pretty fast, okay? Let's sum it up, okay? What's going on? Sum it up for source for this 2022 new year. Working money report. Ah, extended learning. Okay. So that's what it is. You still got a lot to learn. And it's right away. That's the first thing I saw. Right away. It may be exhausting. You're just like, man, when am I ever going to reach that pinnacle? When am I ever going to be done with this shit? Okay? Because maybe this boss, this company, okay? Maybe they're waiting this. Okay? Maybe they're waiting this. And um, maybe they're getting some beef behind it. You know, I don't know. Uh, maybe this is an advance for some of you. Okay, and you're looking at what you, you know, you're publishing this stuff stemming from an advance. All right? But you're going to have to let loose. It's got to do something you've never done before. All right, and that's going to help you. During that, you may be able to get an answer, get some ideas. You know what I'm saying? And your spirit by oracle message is direct deposit. Didn't I say that? Some of you getting them in advance. Some of you, this is about making money with what you're publishing. Or this could be a message. Okay? You know how you get those messages, but they send it to you in a text. And they tell you that your message is deposited. It could be that as well. Oh, okay. There it is. Journey into the cell, okay. So, some of you may have to, um, you have a journey that again that's the journey to yourself. Read more to put, um, invest more into yourself, all right. This more into yourself, you have to look at yourself, you know, you're gonna have to look within. A little bit more to see where you went wrong or to see what's your next move. All right. And let's go ahead and get you a gemstone real quick with this. So I can close out. This is way too long. All right. And maybe this outcome you figure, hey, this is it's good enough. It's special enough. You know what I'm saying? So, um, again, beware of indulging in negative or depressive te tendencies. There it is. All right. 
and you will be working with this year the Empress and that is the Emerald you may want to get you an Emerald all right and let's see the Empress energy and what this Emerald will do okay Emerald equated to the Empress it's Incomparable color brings us closer to nature and teaches us to integrate love into our being. The emerald beats within itself the hope and possibility of exploring the secrets of life. Mother, creativity, abundance, growth, fruitfulness, success, security, love, marriage, children, unification of opposites. So you may be wondering how to put this all together. New ideas and creative phases authoritarian friendly people shadow aspect lack of interest absent-mindedness unfaithfulness inactivity chaos extravagance dangers are not heeded false evaluation of a particular time or situation and i'm going to leave it here i've used too much time thank you so much for tuning in to the tarot temple one more again here at spirit vibes i can't wait to bring you another one happy new year until the next one hotel Peace and one love.